Hey everyone, in this video, we are going to discuss the definite do nots for your Airbnb listing photos. So number one mistake that we see in so many Airbnb listings are people leaving their garbage cans out. So what this does to your listing is just, it sort of kind of cheapens it a little bit. If you think of a magazine or any sort of luxury rental or luxury property photos, there's never visible garbage cans. Your guests know that you're gonna be providing them with a garbage can and garbage bags. So these don't need to be out. So even if you have a property where your garbage lives outside of a closet or a cupboard, let's say a kitchen garbage is like in a corner somewhere, that's fine, but for your listing photos, put that garbage anywhere else. Yeah, so that goes for your kitchen garbages, your bathroom garbages. So we don't wanna see them at all, and we definitely don't wanna see it with a bag in the garbage. Another one is in the kitchen. So we don't wanna see any of like the sink items, especially like your soaps, the scrubbers. These are all things that are assumed that they will be provided in your property. So, Especially one that we love to do is get like a solid color soap dispenser and that can be visual, but definitely not something with a name brand on it. Um, colored soaps through like a clear bottle. It just doesn't match the aesthetic. It looks kind of tacky in your listing photos and hide all of that underneath because again, your guests will understand that those are gonna be provided. They're gonna know where to look directly under the sink when they get to your property and know that they'll be there. For sure. Picture you spend money on design, you spend money on photos, and then you have a purple Dawn dish soap just like sitting right at your sink, staring you at the face. It just doesn't look good. Huge no. <laughs> Another big mistake we see a lot of people make is portable fans and heaters, leaving those out. We realize lots of people want to display that they have these, but you can easily just list them in your listing. So write it out the fact that these amenities are provided for your guests or you can take isolated photos of these items and people can see that you provide that. But in your wide shots of your bedrooms and your other common areas, we do not want to see any fans, space heaters, bug machine killers. <laughs> We've seen many different things. These are just bulky, non-aesthetically pleasing accessories that take up space and that look very crappy in photos. Yeah, and even when a guest comes to your property, if they're not expecting it, it'll be like, hey, a nice surprise. Like, that's awesome, they provide the fans. So that's even a good bonus there. So another one, especially, is luggage racks in the bedroom. People just wanna see a nice, clean bedroom. If you have a closet, put it in there, right? You're not taking an isolated photo of the closet space. It's again assumed and then your guests will just think it's a nice bonus if they want to use a luggage rack. Because again, I know I don't really use a luggage rack. If you have a larger suitcase, it's not gonna fit on it. But if you wanna add that little extra for your guests, just put it away. It doesn't need to be exposed in your listing photos. And with luggage racks in particular, a lot of guests aren't really expecting it, like you mentioned. So yeah, it'll be a nice surprise. And I think guests wanna maybe more see the space of the room and what is provided on that front versus, you know, a luggage rack will make it feel a little bit more crowded and smaller. And that is exactly what you don't want a guest to feel. So this is a big one too, high chairs and pack and plays. Uh, these are great things to offer because if you have families that are renting your property, you definitely want to be offering these things for them, but they do not have to be out in your kitchen at your kitchen table. <laughs> They don't, you can just list in your listing that they have it. And also when guests are looking at your property, it's usually, a, it's usually pretty easy for them to tell if the property is family friendly or not. Like if you're at a luxury upscale condo in a downtown city, like probably families aren't really going there anyway with their kids. And you know, it might be expected or assumed that th those amenities are not gonna be provided there versus like a larger family beach house on a lake, probably safer to assume that those things will be provided there. So, I mean, again, if you're the host, just put it in your listing and add that it will be available for your guests. But with photos, it needs to be in a closet, away, especially high chairs and pack and plays that are like big, bright colors and with logos and Disney characters all over them. 
We don't need to see those in the listings and you can easily pro provide that in the description and let your guests know that it's going to be there for them. So back to the kitchen on the countertops, we wanna keep them as decluttered as possible. Especially in your listing photos, do not have the coffee, the tea, the sugar, all the accessories that you're gonna be providing to them, that's a huge bonus that you're doing that, but they don't need to be exposed in the listing photos. So again, what we reiterated, if you wanna highlight and say you have an espresso machine, which is a really nice highlight features for your guests, you can take one sole photo of that and then put that on your listing, but do not have them in your big overall listing photos. It just looks, again, cluttered, it's not necessary. And then you're gonna also be checking it off as an amenity in your listing also. And to quickly add to that too, another sort of mistake that we often see in listing photos is people taking their wide shot kitchen photos with the drawers open to demonstrate that they have cutlery and pots and pans accessories and cooking, things like that. So when people are booking Airbnbs, this is again assumed. Like you're never gonna go to a restaurant and wonder if they have forks and knives. Like you just know that they have that there. If you have specialty cutlery, maybe it's a very cool color or it's a gold or it's high end. Maybe you wanna take that isolated photo. If it's standard cutlery, do not worry about it at all and make sure those drawers are closed when you're taking your aerial shots and your wide shots of your kitchen. So we're gonna move to the bedroom slash laundry room. You can definitely not have your laundry basket visible. Again, it's a nice bonus or it's assumed that they may be there. So in a bedroom, for sure, hide those laundry baskets away in a closet. It's a nice bonus for your guests. And then in the laundry room, if you're gonna provide things like your Tide Pods, all of that. Again, a standalone photo would be nice, or you can simply mention that in your listing. If you want, an option is to remove detergents out of their bright logoed boxes and jugs and pour them into like nice clear jars or something of that nature. But if you're not wanting to do that type of work for your Airbnb, just hide it away. So another thing to be wary about when you're doing your staging for your listing photos is don't have any visible logos anywhere. So this goes for Kleenex boxes, paper towels, even maybe drinks that might be out on the counter that have a logo on them. Yeah, just anything with a logo on it, it just sort of cheapens the property. Um, it makes it look a little bit more college-y. I find like a frat or like a dorm has like logos everywhere. If you think about a, a, a listing for a, a house for sale, you're never gonna see a logo anywhere. So treat your Airbnb listing the exact same and just hide all of that stuff. So another one is TV remotes. So we're modern day now, like we understand that all TVs will come with a remote. Um, there's shots all the time with like, you know, a very nice living space with like a TV remote smack in the middle of your coffee table or your console table. And it's just, it looks again, like it's awkward. We were chatting earlier and it was just like, I feel like people see that they do this in other listings and then they compare to those listings and they think that that's what you should do, which is highly the opposite. So those remotes, put them away in the drawer. Um, you can obviously, when guests are there, you can leave it out for them, but definitely for a listing photo, you wanna put them away and just highlight the living space. So really clutter of any kind should just be left out of your listing photos and yeah, Aaron and I were discussing, we think that what's happened with this, the sort of standard of Airbnb listing photos is people have started to do those types of things that we just mentioned. And then what happens is other people see that and then they feel like they need to copy and that's sort of become weirdly the standard and it shouldn't be. Because <laughs> they're comparing themselves to what they think is right. Yes, and you yourself can go on Airbnb and select the most expensive listing in an area, and it's not gonna have any of those things that we just discussed. If you look at some more mid-priced properties, probably a lot is gonna have those, and I find actually the most inexpensive ones are the ones that are the most likely to have a lot of these don'ts included in their listing. So just follow the numbers ultimately is the best guide and if you want to be able to charge the most per night that you can get for your property doing these little extra things for your listing photos to have it show well is imperative for that so we hope you guys really enjoyed that video so please subscribe to our channel 
and we hope you enjoy the rest of our videos. Also, follow us on Instagram if you wanna learn more about what we do. It's at Pink Wall Designs.